if you could get away with it, would you put movie clips in your YouTube videos? Dude, bro, dude. If you would, type dude, bro in the comments below. And while you're at it, smash that freaking like button like you mean it. Smash. <sighs> Well, YouTube just made it a little bit easier for you to get away with using movie and TV clips in your videos without, you know. First things first, is it legal to use movie clips in your videos? Short answer, maybe, sometimes. There's a legal doctrine called fair use, which allows you to use copyrighted material without the copyright holder's consent under certain circumstances. I have a video all about it linked below, which you should totally check out, which will give you some really good guidelines. But know this, I'm not a lawyer and nothing in that video or this video should be construed as legal advice. I've got another video on this YouTube channel where I show you how to find and download movie clips. That's linked below, you're welcome to check it out. I get a lot of comments on that video asking me questions that usually go something like this. Hey, what if I use this part of this movie in this video? Can I get away with it? And the short answer is like, dude, I, I don't know. But now there is a way to know what you can get away with, kind of. And this is before you ever make a video public. And this is a feature that YouTube has provided for us to help us stay out of trouble. I'm gonna show you how much of that movie or TV clip you can get away with using in your YouTube videos, whether your channel is monetized or not. In fact, I'm gonna show you what happens when you do upload content that you, you know, ripped off from somebody else. When you upload a video with copyrighted content from your YouTube channel, it looks a little different right now as YouTube is rolling new features out. Whether you have a non-monetized channel, a recently monetized channel, or a monetized channel with more subscribers. So I'm going to show you what happens when you upload content under any of those three circumstances. The same rules apply whether you're uploading movie clips, TV clips, music videos, or any other copyrighted content. But one of the hardest things to get away with is uploading music videos and music. So in my first example, I'm gonna show you what happens when you rip off an entire music video and try to upload that to your channel. I'm risking my channel for your benefit. First of all, never download and re-upload somebody's entire video. Number one, you're not gonna get away with it. And number two, dude, that's not cool at all. I'm just gonna show you this for an example and I'm not gonna make this video public and you'll see why. So right now, let me show you what happens when I upload an entire popular music video to a non-monetized channel. This is my very first YouTube channel ever. See that my first video I uploaded 14 years ago I had a Jones cast, kind of like a video podcast, about 33 episodes. Super fun, never did anything with it, but you should totally check it out because everybody has to start somewhere. So what are we gonna do first? We're going to upload a video to this channel. It's a non-monetized channel with hardly any subscribers. Click upload. I'm going to upload an entire music video that is current and popular that I've never heard of. And it's, let's see, I just named it full music videos. I couldn't find it. And it's only 25 megabytes in size, so it shouldn't take very long to upload. But let's see what happens. Now, because this is a non-monetized channel, I have less options up here. With a monetized channel, you've got more stuff going on. But here's the most simple thing you do with a brand new channel. You upload a video, and let's see if this thing is going to be able to be left and viewed online. Video elements, we're not gonna worry about. Visibility, I'm just going to set it to private just to make sure I don't accidentally publish it and get in trouble, hit save. And I'm gonna close this. And while we're waiting, I'm gonna show you something else. Right now we are in YouTube Studio. And here you can see some interesting things. Like here's some of my other videos. I got a whole bunch of videos on here. A bunch of them unlisted for friends, personal junk, whatever, and a bunch of public ones. But notice that some of these public videos have copyright claims. Oh no, what does that mean? This is important. This is what usually happens when you upload content that is not yours. Now this was Leela's workout from the Open for CrossFit here in 2021. And it says, your video is ineligible for monetization due to a copyright claim. Review details and dispute the claim. If you believe this is an error, revenue is held separately until the dispute is resolved. So what does that tell us? That it's mostly about who gets the money if ads are run on this thing. Let's go ahead and click on see details. If you've never seen this, this will be instructive for you. The most important thing to notice is that my channel is not affected. Even though that content ID, that's the AI that identifies copyrighted content on your videos, they listen to and they watch your videos and see if you're stealing somebody else's content, they found it, but it doesn't affect my channel. My channel still runs as normal. I'm not getting in trouble. It's not a strike. A strike's totally different. And even though I have copyrighted music on here, everyone's still allowed to see it. But here's the thing that matters. 
I, I, I can't monetize it. It's ineligible for monetization. Even if this small channel was eventually to get monetized, that video would not be monetized. Now, what got me the copyright claim? These three songs right here. Now, I have options. I can go, oh, wait a second. That's my song. So I can dispute that and say, wait, that's my song. I wrote it. And I can dispute it and fight with these guys. But obviously, it's not my song. I'm not going to dispute it. I could trim out the segment where that song was. That was part of it. Or I could replace the song with something else. Or I could just mute the song and keep the video up. And if I was to mute all of these songs, I could totally keep that video up. Not going to do that. Now, let's go back here. It's had a second to upload that video. Remember I said the visibility to private. Right now there are no restrictions, but let's go over here back to the dashboard and see if anything happened to pop up. Oh, look at this. Here's our time, 5.09 p.m. Look how quick that was, right? I have not paused this video. It's 5.11, so two minutes ago, you received a copyright claim, full music video. Remember that's what I called it? Notice, and look, look at this. Please note this is not a copyright strike. Copyright claim, no big deal. Copyright strike, big deal. Three of those and you're off YouTube forever. You can't even create a new channel. Let's go ahead and look at this particular video. I click over here on content and I can see here, it, it didn't update yet. Visibility, private, restrictions, none. I'm gonna refresh this and see if it shows up. It just takes a few minutes for things to pop up here. And ah, oh, there we go. Now this is, about the worst thing that's gonna to happen to most people. Because I uploaded an entire music video that wasn't mine, my visibility is blocked. This video contains copyrighted material. As a result, it has been blocked worldwide. Oh no. And why? Because there's a copyright claim. And I'm gonna read this because it's important. This video is found to contain copyrighted material. As a result, it's been blocked worldwide and is not eligible for monetization. Review details and dispute it just like before if you wanted to. So we're gonna go ahead and click on this, see details and You'll probably never see this because you're never going to rip off entire videos, right? I don't. You don't want to do that. So it doesn't affect my channel. Even though I stole an entire video, put it up on my channel, it's not affected. My channel's still in good standing. Whew, that's a relief, right? However, visibility is blocked. No one can watch it. I can't share it with anyone. Not even a private link to share it with family and friends. It's totally blocked. So it's as if it doesn't exist. And it's not eligible for monetization. I could dispute it, but... You know, why would I? So that's what happens when you steal an entire video and you upload it to YouTube. Never do that. And that's on a non-monetized channel. So there's two things we're kind of getting at here. Entire video that you stole and on a non-monetized channel. Let's see what happens if we do something a little bit different. Now, I don't want that video on my channel. I'm gonna just delete it forever. I understand, it's permanent, goodbye. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Have you done your civic duty and subscribed to this channel? If you subscribe to this channel, you will be able to upload entire movies to your channel and monetize them with no copyright claims and no copyright strikes. I'm just kidding. So dude, hit, hit that subscribe, man. But seriously. And now let's go to a channel that I have that has been recently monetized. And that would be, switch account, let's go to... Life Untethered. Now you can see that I got this one monetized, I don't know, like a month and a half ago. It's got 2,400 subscribers. It's about us moving from California, living full-time in an RV and stuff. So on this channel, let's go ahead and upload a different video. I'm going to go ahead and click on the plus sign for create, upload videos. I'm going to find a video that is not that entire music video. Or you know what happens when you upload an entire music video. But what about this? What about 23 seconds of that exact same video? Now notice that we have one more possibility up here. We have a monetization tab. So I can say, hey, I want to try to monetize it. You know, I already know what's gonna happen. So I'm gonna say no, I'm gonna turn it off. And now I'm gonna hit video elements. Not gonna mess with that stuff now. Visibility, I'm also gonna make that private just to be sure so I don't get in trouble. And I'm gonna save it and let that video continue uploading. And we're gonna go over here to content and let's see what happens this time. Are you excited to see what happens? Wow, it found that pretty quickly, didn't it? I mean, within seconds, notice it's only 514. Content ID, YouTube's artificial intelligence that watches all your videos, determined that this video was not eligible for monetization because of a copyright claim. Same stuff we keep seeing. Let's go ahead and see details. Now, this is a little bit different. Remember the full video, we could not even show it to anyone. We couldn't make it public. Nobody could watch it when we uploaded that entire video. But now, with this video where it's only 23 seconds and it's just their video and nothing else, let's see what happens. 
we can see that even though I stole all 23, 24 seconds of that video, my channel's not impacted. Woo! So that means I, I'm cool. I can post that video on my channel since it's not the entire video. How much of a video can I upload and get away with it? I don't know. If I make this public, let's see what happens. I'm not going to actually make it all the way public, but let's let's see what happens. And notice that monetization, ineligible. And actually, I don't know what's going to happen. I think that if I make this thing public, I'll still be able to keep it up. I just can't monetize it. And look at that. I'm not in trouble. That's a big deal. And the same possibilities, I can dispute it if I want. So let's close it. Let's go ahead and click on it. And let's make it unlisted. <gasps> it's going to be a little scary. Visibility, unlisted. All right, I'm going to risk it and I'm going to save it for you guys. But it already said it doesn't hurt my channel. So let's go ahead and save. See what's happened. It's unlisted, copyright claim. But look at this. Anyone has a link can see this video. So it's totally fine. I could, and I can make it public too. It wouldn't be an issue. I can upload a small piece of copyright material under certain circumstances. And I can see that anyone with a link can see it. No problem. I just can't monetize it. I'm not in trouble. So cool, right? Now let's see what happens if I upload the same thing to my bigger channel that has 14,000 subscribers. Here's my main channel. Let's go ahead and click this plus sign right here. Upload video. And we're going to upload that same 23 second video and show you the new option. Now this is the new feature you need to be aware of. And here it is. Music video 23 seconds. Click open. Notice now that we have more options. We have monetization, just like on the smaller monetized channel. Video elements, like always. Visibility, like always. We also have checks. Here's the new thing. This is the brand new feature that YouTube is rolling out. It is not available to everyone yet. It is only available to some monetized channels, is my understanding. So let's click on checks and see what it says. It says, hey, it won't run until SD's finished processing. Plus, you got to see if you want to monetize it. So let's go ahead and say we want to monetize it. See what happens. Turn that on. And while we're waiting for it to finish uploading, let's go ahead and click on checks. And look at that. Already it says copyright claim found ineligible for monetization. So I'm going to turn monetization off. It says ineligible, so I can't do anything else. We'll just leave that there. This is the new feature I wanted you to learn about. This is how you can tell before you ever make a video public, before you ever even choose if it's public or private or unlisted, you can know right away if you have a monetized channel with a decent following that, oh, copyright claim, can't monetize it. All right, visibility. I just keep it private, actually. Play it super safe. Hit save. And then we can see some more stuff real quick. See what happens. Can't monetize. Copyright claim. Just go over here. See details. And if you want to check out any of the videos on your channel, you can go over here to content and you can see right here the status of all your videos, what restrictions they have. Because if you tried sneaking stuff in, see if you got away with it, right? Now I hit see details again. Not affected. I just made it private and ineligible for monetization, but again, not affected, man. An entire video on a big monetized channel, I can leave that video there and probably have no problem at all. But there is one more thing that you guys really, really need to be aware of. Just because now, right on upload, YouTube says your channel is not affected and you can share it to people, if you can't monetize it, that doesn't mean you're guaranteed to be able to share it forever into the future because the producer of this video, the copyright holder of this video could come back and say, you know what, that's not cool, take it down. And they could file a copyright strike against you because they're the owners. So you really don't want to use big chunks of videos solo on here. This is not a guarantee. This is just this just means you're probably okay, but it's not a guarantee in the future. Now let's go ahead and upload a video that's about 35 seconds long. That contains about half me on camera and about half movie clips. In fact, there's about 17 seconds in a row from one film. Let's hit select files. It's going to be the one that says half me, half movie clips. 31 megs. Should go up there pretty quickly. And let's see what we can get away with. Now, bear in mind, again, there's about 17 seconds of one movie on here. I've got all these same abilities, these same features here. The one we care about is checks, but we're going to turn monetization. Let's turn monetization on for this one. See if it stays on this time. And we're going to go ahead and hit add suitability because this is something that YouTube rolled out about a year ago, which allows you to tell them, yeah, this ad's suitable for everybody or no, it's got some bad stuff in it. So we're just going to say, and I've been doing a good job. So it's like, hey, keep up the good work. Looks like uh, you've been doing great. And I say it's got no inappropriate content. It's cool for everybody. Submit rating. And 
Boom, it's a safe video. And now I can go to video elements, don't care, go to checks, and we wait. Look at that, checks. No issues found, woohoo! So I could probably get away with this. I could probably monetize this video even though there are 17 seconds in a row of one particular motion picture. In fact, there's a few seconds earlier in the video as well. So it's more somebody else's content than my own. No issues found, but I mentioned this before. Remember, these check results aren't final. Issues may come up in the future that impact your video. So it's not a guarantee, but you're probably okay to keep this video on your channel with that much stuff and monetize it. Back here on the content channel, we can see the visibility is draft because I didn't make it public, private, or unlisted. So let's go ahead and just make it private real quick so we can see what happens. I have to, I have to click on visibility and choose private and actually save it. And then when I go back to the content page, it says it's private. Monetization is on. I can make money off somebody else's movies. Woo! And there are no restrictions. And remember, this is not a guarantee, but you're probably okay. So what's the bottom line? You're never gonna get away with downloading somebody else's entire copyrighted material and then just uploading it to your channel. Just never do that. However, under certain circumstances, you can probably get away with using little pieces of movie clips and TV clips and maybe even music videos in your videos. If you use too much of someone else's copyrighted material, you probably won't be able to monetize it, but you may be able to keep it up on your channel. If you use just tiny pieces of someone else's copyrighted content, whether it's a big movie or a TV show or whatever, you may be able to upload that to your channel and keep it monetized. And you'll have a good idea whether or not you'll be able to do that within a few minutes after you upload it to YouTube before you publish it. What's the magic length you can get away with? There is no specific number. Every video on this channel is monetized and a bunch of these videos do have movie clips in there, but I follow my personal rule of trying to keep any movie or TV clips under about five seconds. Another question I get a lot is how do some channels get away with uploading entire scenes from movies and TV shows? And the short answer is, I don't know. I have a couple guesses. One guess is that those particular videos aren't monetized and they may be generating revenue some other way with that channel. Another guess is that they have consent from the production companies, but I, I certainly don't know. I would reach out to those channels and, and ask them. To learn how to find and download movie clips to use in your videos, go ahead and check out that link right up there. Remember to subscribe because if you do, you'll be able to get away with anything. I can't wait to see your blockbuster film enhanced YouTube videos.